Hey, and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be going over these. Uh, these are, I think, around nine phones that I bought off e well, not eBay, Macari. I bought these nine phones off Macari for like 24 or $30, something. They were pretty cheap. Um, and we're going to test them and see if they work because they were all untested. There's a bunch of, bunch of Motorola's, a few Samsung's, one Pantech and one iPhone 5. Uh, but before we jump right in, don't forget to hit that like button and check out my channel. And if you like what you see, please consider hitting that subscribe button as it helps me out a lot. Also hit that bell notification button to get notified whenever I upload a new video. I'm on Instagram, Discord and Twitter and you can follow me on those using the links down in the description below. Okay, so let's open this up and see what we have here. <clears throat> um, really heavy box, obviously with nine phones. Uh, could expect them to be that heavy. Uh, well packaged. The main, well, how I found this listing was when I was on Macari, I was looking for an iPhone 5 because um, I have a Apple Watch first generation, well, Apple Watch Series 0 that is still running like a Watch OS, Watch OS 1.0. So, um, I need to pair it to an iPhone 5 to get it to uh, to work um, and I don't want to update it either because it's impossible to find a Apple Watch on 1.0 now Apple Watch OS 1.0 um, so I went ahead and bought this entire lot uh, because the extra phones for a bit of extra money is quite a good deal Really well packaged, as it should be. Bunch of phones. Um, actually, probably the best packaging I've ever seen in a long time. Okay. Um, let's see what we have here. They're all untested. Some might work. Some, the, some of the Motorola's have AMOLED, so I'm not having too much hope for them. Uh, <clears throat> first one we have here is a... Moto X, uh, 2010 or 11, I forgot. It ha it actually has a lens cover. Um, probably, wait, does it have its battery? I think it does have its battery. Um, yep, it does have a battery. Um, pretty dirty, this phone. Let's see if it turns on. 100 bucks, it has a black spot over here. All Moto Xs, well, almost all Moto Xs have a black spot on their screen like that. Um, it's an it's a common issue. Let me get a charger going here. We'll test the Androids first and then we'll test the iPhone. Um, see if this thing works. Uh, oh, okay. <clears throat> that works. Um, I should have just turned it on. It's probably locked or something. Uh, and it does not have the black spot, I don't think so. So we'll wait and see till this thing turns on. So that works, but I don't have time to let it charge. I want to get through this bunch as fast as I can. Pantech something. I don't know. Pantech something. There's a lot of moisture in here. How did moisture get in there? Uh, see if it charges. Well, um, not getting anything. Power button. It's got a screen protector on it as well. Does it have a battery? Yeah, it does have a battery. Um, no life. So we're quickly going to go through these and we'll do it in, we'll look at them in detail a bit later. Pretty nasty case. I better wipe down these phones. What is this thing? I don't know. Touch? It's called touch. What is this phone? Get it out of the case. Oh, it's an HTC. HTC what? I have no idea what this thing is. Um, I don't know how to turn it on. It doesn't seem to have... It has a dock accessory-like thing there. Let's see. See what happens. Uh, oh, charging light. Um, it's blinking. So, is there like a power button on this thing? Okay, there is a power button up the top there. Hmm... Okay, so it's probably really dead on battery. I'll have to charge these separately. So we have life. 
Uh, I'm going to leave them to charge after I'm done going over them. And then we're going to look at them. What the? Oh, it's that LG. That LG phone. I don't understand what this big thing at the back is. It's this huge, huge chunk of plastic. Uh, weird looking LG phone. I don't know what this thing is. Plug it in. We got a, we have a blinking light. That's strange. So there's something clearly wrong with this phone, whatever the hell it is. How does, is there even a power button on this thing? Okay, so the lights are blinking. Yeah. How do you open this thing? Huh? Okay, there we go. What the? That's a huge battery. 3000 milliamps. 3000, yeah. So back in the day, older phones had huge batteries like this. So that's the extra space. What is this thing? Made in Korea, LG VS840. I gotta go find out what this thing is in the first place. Take a look at it in a bit. Um, now on to the fun stuff, the Motorola, the other one. This is the iPhone, seems okay. There's moisture. Yeah, how did water get in here? Like, I don't know, there's, there's some moisture on the phones. Probably somewhere, I don't know. Uh, Motorola, Droid, Ray, HD Max, I think. I, I'm, I've mixed up all the names. I'll tell you all the names prop later and like when I figure them out properly. Nice blue color. Cracked, well, screen protector looks nice. Where's the charging port? It seems pretty light, so probably doesn't have a battery. Uh, hmm. Is that the power button? Mm. Yeah, nothing. Uh, well, it has a clo the battery. I don't think you can open this thing. I don't think the battery is user accessible. What's this? Uh, SIM card, memory card. Uh, battery is not user accessible. Doesn't seem to want to turn on right out of the bat. Leave that aside. Oh, there's another iPhone. How come I did not see that? It's a CDMA iPhone 4. Pretty dirty. I'll have to clean up all these things. Uh, we got Samsung of some sorts. Um, no battery. Model number i510, made in Korea. No battery. Uh, this thing, I, I I know the name. It's just not coming to my head. Um, I'll let you know once that's there. Um, next up. Motorola Droid Razer Max, I think. I don't know. Cracked screen. I can see under the screen protector, the screen is cracked. Um, see if this thing turns on. Oh, green light. Okay, so the battery is dead. I thought the AMOLED on this thing might be like screwed up. But okay, battery is dead. Okay, fine. Uh, those might just need a quick restore. Let me switch cables here. Let me go plug a lightning cable in. We're gonna test out the iPhone 5. If it is iCloud locked, it's gonna be an easy bypass. Um, there's some junk in the power port. I'll have to clean up my, my charger later as well. Hmm. No life. Doesn't seem to want to turn on. Now that's a bummer. The charging port doesn't look too good. There's a lot of stuff in there. The body looks okay. There's actually a screen protector at the back. There's none on the front. That's strange. Um, no life. I'm still not sold on the, the, the port there. It feels really off. Mm, okay, so no life. Let's get a 30 pin. Old school. Let me let me grab a 30 pin. Hold up. So we have a 30 pin for the iPhone 4. CDMA version. Mm, 
Okay, so that thing works. It's got a small crack here. It's got a big gash over there. Um, probably has a passcode. Let's see what we have here. So off camera, it turned on for a bit and turned off again. The battery is pretty low. I've got to go clean these. These things are filthy. Be right back. Okay, so a very interesting outcome with all of these phones. Um, let's go over the phones in terms of uh, importance and um, basically what I, uh, I'm happy about and not happy about. Um, the iPhone 5 is completely dead. Um, it, there's nothing, not a vibrate, nothing. Uh, I'll have to open it up and see. It's probably the battery. Uh, it's probably having, it probably has a passcode. We'll have to see, but the iPhone 5 is completely dead. Samsung Droid works with, uh, I plugged it with a Nokia battery. Let me show you again. Um, it does work, but it boot loops. Well, it, it kind of, it, it's kind of stuck at the Droid screen. Um, so it's, it's a software issue. Um, but I'll, I'll turn it on and show you. Um, come on, turn on. Um, uh, okay, it doesn't want to turn on now. It turns on sometimes. Uh, do I have to plug it in? Yeah, it does not want to turn on now, but it did turn on earlier. Um, let's see. So yeah, it, it, it has a software issue. But yeah, this thing does turn on. It turned on once and it kept on cycling on the droid screen. So yeah, probably doesn't want to turn on now for some reason, I don't know. Um, LG Lucid. Now, if you search LG Lucid on the online, it has a 1,700 milliamp hour battery, but this thing has a modified, um, it come with a modified back cover. Well, third, well, not third party, but uh, an upgrade sold by LG probably at the time. 3000 milliamp hour battery, um, say so here, uh, 3040 milliamp hour battery, 11.3 watt hour. It's a pretty big battery for its time. Probably the largest battery of that year, whichever year it was released. When plugged into a charger, this thing's front, the lights here flicker. Uh, it does not turn on beyond that. It doesn't work with any other battery either. The lights here just flicker. Its battery is still good. The battery is good. It's at 3.8 volts, 3.7 volts. This Pantech phone, um, I don't know exactly what the model is. Um, th the Pantech logo came on once and then it never turned on again. So probably a power issue, I'm not sure. Pantech phone. Um, HTC uh, MyTouch, running Android. Uh, it's running Android 2, um, battery low, okay. So it's running Android 2.1 or 2 or some, let me, it's really old. So it's been, it's in decent condition though, the phone. And it's got a 16 gig PNY uh, micro SD card, which doesn't work. Uh, software information, as you can see, Android 2.3.4. I forgot what that was. Is, is it Eclair? I don't know. It's got a 16 gig um, PNY micro SD card. Doesn't work. Something's wrong with the card, whatever. Uh, Motorola Droid Max HD, I think that's what it's called. I am confused which is which. Um, really nice color and everything. Completely dead, nothing. It's a really light phone. Um, it has an AMOLED display, but it's not the display. The thing doesn't vibrate or anything. It's just completely dead. We'll have to look at that later. Motorola Droid Max. Works fine. Battery's just slightly weak. Got a crack on the screen, smashed up here. Works fine apart from that. Has been used quite recently. The last time it had been used is June, and then they've reset it, so it works. The It's got a screen protector, but the screen kind of cracked on the side there. Everything on it works, the cameras and all that stuff work fine. Um, it's an okay phone, so thumbs up for that. Motorola Droid X, really happy with this thing. Um, if you know this phone, these things always have cracked well not cracked they always have like a spot on this air general area of the display there's always a black spot like the, the lcd has a fault in this area it's probably a design fault this one doesn't have it so i'm really happy it's just passcode lock so i have to uh reset the thing later i technically couldn't figure out the passcode uh it could have been something i don't know um probably an easy passcode like that 
I can't say, whatever. So it's got a passcode, I'll deal with it later. iPhone 4, disgusting. I, I, I had to clean it, it still needs a lot of cleaning. Extremely filthy. The previous owner was an absolute pig. Um, jailbroken on iOS 7, Cydia. I'm gonna go restore this thing and bring it back to uh, bring it back to iOS. I don't want no jailbroken garbage because um, I hate jailbreaking. Um, but yeah, that works fine. It's just I do not really want to touch it either. It's pretty dirty. Um, that is the part slot. Uh, we got um, one, two, three, four, five. Was it five? Yeah, we got five working phones, um, four dead. The, the well, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. iPhone one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five. So these four are the dead ones. Um, these work. Um, it's just the, the the HD. Well, the the Samsung probably has a software issue. I gotta reset it. These this needs to be this needs. I just need to like clean it up a bit. This one needs a uh, reset to get rid of the passcode. The glass is cracked on this quite badly, as you can see. iPhone four needs to be reset. Those four need extra attention, but I'll do that in a separate video. I don't wanna cram everything into this and make this too long. That's just a exploring a part slot that I bought. Really happy with these five, uh, five out of the nine that I bought work down right. The rest will probably work after I fix them. I really hope the iPhone 5 works because I need it for something. But yeah, I guess that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and check out my channel. And if you like what you see, please consider hitting that subscribe button, thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video.